On today's episode of Watch JR Go, we tear down the Orbi filled engine. This is gonna be fun. What is going on guys? I'm Watch JR Go, and today we're here with the 1.6 GDI from the 2012 Hyundai Veloster that we destroyed by filling it with Orbeez and running it until it died. And it was a lot of fun. I, I think, did you have fun? I think. It was worse. It was like the entire neighborhood actually enjoyed it because kids got to drive the car and we just, we just had a blast with it. So, game start on the seatbelt background here. The seatbelt is our lifting mechanism for this engine. Just tying a quick knot and then we're gonna pick it up with the cherry picker real fast and tear it apart for you guys. Everybody asked to see the damage inside the engine. We're gonna oblige you. Usually I would just send this straight to the recycling but this time, we're gonna tear it down and then send it to the recycling. Coming in! Hyundai lift commencing. And today's episode is sponsored by Cove, and they just sent over their brand new noise canceling headphones. This is the Cove Solitude. Throw these things on here, of course they fold, and they're Bluetooth and they're active noise canceling. So when you're working on your car or you know in a plane, whatever you want, you need the uh, environment around you to be quiet, throw on your solitude, hit the noise canceling button, here it comes, and the background just goes away. So super lightweight, they actually fit my head really well. I love the cup size there, really nice, just kind of, it's got soft headset cups. Gabe and I just tested it out, made a phone call on it, listened to some music, paired right up, and uh, we were rocking out, got that new NF playing. If you guys are interested in having your own Cove Solitude and you want 65% off, head on over to coveaudio.com slash JRL65, use my discount code, and you'll save a ton of money on your very own Solitude. So, let's get busy on this engine teardown. Let's get the orb oil out of this thing. I have a feeling it's gonna be a disaster. Orb oil? Is that what we're calling it? Orb oil? Why is it it's a... Sounds, sounds good. It's not dripping, I'm kind of surprised. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh. Does it, what's, this looks like either concrete or JB well. I don't know which one it looks more like. I'm gonna say that uh, when my kids were younger, they made something pretty similar. Oh yeah. Oh, here it comes. And now we're getting oil or water, one of the two. There we go. Oh, that's nasty. Well, that's about it, isn't it? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> that's a Motorcraft oil filter. Ford dealership's been servicing it. Oh, this is heavy too. Is it? Oh, it's heavy. This is gonna be good. Oh, here comes the oil. You're probably just about to the bottom of it. I can pull there it. Oh, oh it's leveled God. off. Wow. I think that oil filter really did its job. It probably filtered out almost all of the Orbeez and polymer for a long time until it just had to give up the ghost. It probably bypassed and kept right on trucking. Yeah, if you need a reliability story for an engine, this thing's actually pretty incredible. We're gonna let this drain for a few more minutes and then we'll start, we'll pull the intake, pull the valve cover, get this head off and see what the cylinders look like. Well, since we're in here waiting on that to drain, I give it a 10. I'm in reverse, I'm just gonna Remove bolts. Hey. Hey, Captain. Yep, I already dropped that one too. But don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more nonsense like this where we just have lots of fun with engines. You know, I uh, heard about a new project coming. Ah, yes. Is it the coffee grinder 1.6 liter? Are we supposed to say anything about that? I don't know anything about that. Maybe it's 2.4. Here's one cam position sensor. It's very orbied up. Also orbied. Lots of orbies. I love the chunks. Now the valve cover's yeah. off. All right. Probably needs a screwdriver. Nah, just needs a little smack. And then it breaks. <laughs> Something's holding that. Oh, no, nope. it's coming. I love these exploratory videos, man. Yeah. Well, we're breaking new ground here. No, we're breaking new ground. I don't know what's going on with that thing. There, there it it's completely oh. full of Orbeez. I thought it was out of the variable valve timing solenoids. Oh. Polymer City. Lo, oh, the screens actually saved it. Look at that. It's clean nice. inside. The screens did their job. If you look at that, you can see the screen that cleans the oil 
Make sure there's no oiling issues with the uh, VVT. Weird. That could probably clean up and run again. So a lot of people made fun of us with this video. Oh yeah. Saying, oh, why are you doing this? It's terrible, there's no point and everything. Actually, there is a point. You see, these items that we're showing you have never been done before. Well, it's also serving to show you all of the different levels of protection in your vehicle. Here, I'm gonna break the DI fuel line okay. real quick. Or... There you go. All right. You've been working out. I have been. Here's the shot everybody wants to see. <laughs> I have a few more Orbeez stuck up here that didn't... Didn't make it all the way in? Right, so, look how nice the cam profile is. It got a little beat up on the end there, but yeah. like, that looks pretty good. Huh. Nice. But yeah, there's, in fact, this upper, the baffle up here is filled. Filled with, with Orbeez? Yeah, they're, they're still good. Yep. We should reuse them. Coming down. We had to pause for a second here to lower it. Can't get to a lot of the bolts. All right, we'll see if we can get the intake off real fast. Obviously, kind of in the way. I'm just not happy about the intake. There it goes. A little persuasion there, I can help. Yeah, actually I need to cut these hoses or pull them off. Hey, you need a knife? You need a knife? Please a knife. Option two is... There you go. <laughs> oh, you got that. Well, things just keep coming apart. Oh, not too many Orbeez in there. Nice, that hose rocks. I mean, that knife rocks. Uh, can you cut that wire right there? Oh, yeah. Knock sensor, it looks like. Goodbye, knock sensor. Goodbye. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and pull the DI rail. Mostly because I've never pulled a DI rail before. And I'm kind of excited about that. I'm excited about this prospect. <laughs> Not a lot. I mean, it's still like relatively uncommon to be playing with direct injected stuff, you know? Oh, come on. I know it's off of there. Yeah, it just needs to be. Just pulled on a lot? Yeah. Oh, well, they do dump all the way down inside the cylinder, so. These things are deep. There we go. Yeah, we'll get some leverage on there. There it is. If you guys have never seen direct injection, these go all the way down inside the cylinder. You can see all the carbon buildup on them and you can see the Orbi buildup on these ones. These ones are just carbon buildup. Clean off that one. Cleans right up. <coughs> really cool. There's tiny, tiny little holes right on the end of the injector right there. So yeah, that's a DI rail. It's where the fuel goes directly into the cylinder. Throttle body's off. It's all drive by wire. So this is the follower for the DI pump, this is right here. Ah. Yeah, that's where that came from. Another Orbi filled solenoid. <laughs> Orbi's just exploded out of the end of the cam when I squeezed nice. it. Water pump fully coming off. God. Oh man, the water pump's a 12. Oh no. Nope. It's all tense. Nice. This thing rocks. The only thing we didn't like about it was the engine to transmission case <laughs> had three different size bolts. It does. All the different, all of them had the same head. We got the one out now. There we go. And look. Man, that water pump's perfect. It is gorgeous. How the tolerances? Oh man, that's a brand new water pump. Good. Huh. So the entire side of the engine comes off and it is the oil pump right here. If you ever have to change the oil pump on this engine. Good luck. We'll be praying. Uh, I don't envy you. You get to pull the engine and disassemble the whole thing. All, All right, right, hold up. Pull that guy out for sure. Ready? The only question is like, where do you pry? Get right here. Hit it with the hammer. Hey, it's separated. All the way off. Just wiggle. Well, we'll wiggle a little bit here. There goes. Oh, 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 the oh, oh, oh. oh my goodness, you gotta see that. Yeah, I mean, that is. Hey, there's still some good ones. Well, I guess all that's really left is getting the head off, and then we're gonna stop on the teardown. So, there's, yeah, there's still some full Orbeez in here. Look at this good stuff. It feels, uh, 
different. Uh, there's two bolts right there for those two turners. I think we can get the pan off, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cam guides out, cam chain coming off. Yep. There we go. Chain is loose. There we go. Nice. You know it. And now we have to find the head bolts and they're all buried. You first. All right, we had to go pick up some triple squares. Luckily, uh, I'm working on the R8, so I've got triple squares sitting around. We can get the head off. Just, just with the mark. Maybe we can't. Try to. I think we're giving up. We were on here with a breaker bar and we still couldn't get these even remotely loose. I mean, we can try again and use two people or something, I guess. I am probably gonna get severely hurt doing this, but it was worth it for you guys. <laughs> Remember that. We did it all for you. We have all my weight in this. There we go. Okay. Weirdly, as we loosen it, they're getting easier. The first one, I pulled on as hard as I possibly could. Well, Jerry about killed himself. That's about the hardest I've worked in a year. I can attest to that. I, I can promise you all of my weight for 15 minutes right there. Let's get it done. It was worth it. It was. Yeah, they were only on at like 200. <laughs> Two, at least 200 foot pounds. The last one. Oh yeah. To the victor go the spoils. That is the most important. This one also, we we broke it loose and I had it all the way loose and then you had to break it all the way loose again. That's yes. that's how bad this one bolt was after the head loosened up. I'm not a hat, uh, fan of that bolt. Cool, all right, what, what about now? Hit it with a hammer. And then, seems like it'll be just loose enough. Yep, that's it. Whoa, whoa! It ate a piston? That piston is gone. I love it. We wondered how the Orbeez got in through there. Where did the piston go? Oh man. Look at that. There's our connecting rod. There's that wrist pin. If you take a look down inside the cylinder there, you can see that it's probably an eighth of an inch gouge around there. Pretty awesome. Oh wow, look at the rod. Man. Uh, it was definitely rod knocking all that stuff, so. Oh no, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Now the rod is really shot and it just ate a piston alive. It just drank it right inside the cylinder. Do you remember when we saw the piston though? Yeah, the piston was fine. Yeah. It was excellent. So last time we so. shot, we you know went back, we scoped the engine. Yep. You know, when we were still trying to diagnose. All piston domes look great. Yeah, everything, but the sucker's gone. You ready to see this? Uh, ooh yeah, look at the Orby fluid. Oh. <laughs> Here, can you hold it? Yeah, I got it. I got it. There we go. Oh yeah, or be the, oh, it locked up. <laughs> I don't know why it seized up. Oh, I see the piston down there. All right, This so, thing kept running for so long like that. Are you not impressed? I, I mean, mean, the just, valves look good I too. Mean, yeah, that's, this is the other part that gets me. Crazy, so, those are some beautiful valves. Even with, even with that piston All that having disappeared, Yep. I mean, there's a little bit of chewing up there on the surface. Yeah, but the surface of the valves, they, they look really good for the most part. That one's got a little bit of, you can see stuff got hit. Yeah. All right, once again, thank you so much to Josh for loaning us his garage. Gabe, getting over here, tearing this thing down. I don't think we need to get into the rotating assembly. Obviously, you need a piston. And uh, I think that's it. So, that is it for today, guys. Please, like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do, and I will talk to you next time. Piston. There's the skirt. <laughs> that is awesome. That is a ton of metal just crushed into oblivion. This engine recycled its own internals. So anybody need an expensive can crusher, <laughs> you know where to look. <laughs>